Hey, sorry, I'm late. I didn't see the link. It's okay. So, yeah, how was your weekend? Pretty good. Mine's been pretty, <clears throat> pretty, pretty busy. I got some chill time today, kind of relax, and just been looking at code all day, kind of getting ideas. I've been checking out the your code set up um, and, you know, kind of how I want to lay things out and structure that. And uh, I was thinking about, and kind of what I'm used to is using CSS grid. Um, it's kind of a, a new modern templating for multiple different screen sizes and basically like the grid kind of tiled or flexible tiled layout with rows and columns. Um, but as I want to spread out each screen and kind of use the full screen and spread things out, I was looking at uh, how I like say per se, like on the profile screen, like pretty much the screens I've looked at so far, like the content centered in the screen. And um, I've seen like line break and then like clear fix or clear um, to like go to the next row. But yeah, so <clears throat> what I want to kind of do is like some of the different screens will have different row grid alignments and I want to customize it to that screen. Some of them will be similar. Um, but <clears throat> if I have kind of like a base coded streamlined approach that's uh, built into kind of the whole web app or site um, would be is, it's kind of what I'm used to is CSS grid. Um, there's also Bootstrap, which gives you CSS grid and a bunch of JavaScript for like animations and transitions and stuff as far as like a big library. And I'm somewhat familiar with Bootstrap and CSS grid for like laying things out on the screen. Um, so yeah, I was gonna say if we could set up something where I have at least the grid kind of um, templed in into the website or, you know, like where I can use it differently on each PHP file or screen, PHP screen. Um, and then, you know, I could have a separate CSS just for that screen. Um, and it seems like I've seen that, you've done some of that. And then like the first one, it was kind of a transition from the landing page to the login screen. And I think it was say it's the main CSS for that, but say like the facilitator has its own CSS file um, in JavaScript file. But yeah, so if, yeah, if the layouts are slightly different, so like say the profile screen or, you know, I need the grid to work with a grid arrangement that would be different like per screen pretty much. Um, and it would help to streamline that. Okay, yeah, that all sounds pretty good to me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm better programmer than I am designer, so yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't be surprised if my if my design is not pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of what I'm used to, and it and it works. Um, but as far as like a, a per screen, something that's like streamlined or templated where I have the ability to adjust the grid layout per PHP file. Um, so mm -hmm. like the facilitator file or screen and then the, the uh, login screen and then like the landing page screen. Um, yeah, and even when I was just trying to like, I, playing around with the landing page screen and just trying to adjust the um what is it they're called it's the front screen which is just the center box i couldn't actually get it to like move around on the screen um as i was with like other files to like actually adjust it i couldn't figure out why that was but um mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it was kind um, of a work. Like well, a good I, I probably know what it is. Uh, the way I've set that up is there's there's two entries for those different screens. So at the very bottom, you'll find all the media media entries for like different screen sizes, and they're overriding the stuff at the top. 
So I'm using like negative margin to center it. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, if you just want to redo it or change it, um, then totally, yeah. Well, so I guess the scene kind of simplified to just install Bootstrap. And I'm somewhat familiar with that. And then it has all the libraries for JavaScript and CSS or has extra stuff that I wouldn't really use. So it would be some excess, but um, at least having the grid, CSS grid layout, like, um, yeah, it just to me kind of helps for like streamlining uh, the coding approach for like all the screens or the pages. Okay. But I, I'm not a super programmer. Like I'm just somewhat familiar with it and it kind of makes sense to, to streamline it like that. Um, so I could try installing Bootstrap or you, or I was just kind of wondering if you had any other suggestions to that approach. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm familiar with Bootstrap a little bit, uh, CSS Grid and, and those things. Um, yeah, I mean, if that's if that's what you're better at working with, you're already familiar with it. I think we should go with that for sure. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, I think installing it. Um, I don't. I don't think it's a huge thing to install, is it? You just get, kind of download it, upload it to the server, and then link it into the head. Thanks. Sounds pretty familiar. I don't think I fully looked at the install setup for it yet. Okay, well, I'll take a look at it too. Um, I'm just kind of looking at some some tutorials here right now on how to do it, but it looks like you just download the CSS and, and JavaScript file and then put them on the server and and then link them to the to the code. And then you should be able to access everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'll, I'll have a better look at it here. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually installed that yet before. Yeah, um, otherwise, I don't know why, for some reason, planetaryguardians.net is still not actually coming up properly. Um, I have to talk to GoDaddy again, because, oh yeah, actually, Elijah, uh, I, I tried to call GoDaddy today to fix that, but um, I, I'm needing, uh, something from, from Shinoa, like they had to send her an email to confirm something and, and stuff like that, but, um, it doesn't matter now with that email, but, uh, yeah, I'll try, I'll try phoning them again later because they should be able to let me help or let me do something on it. It's just, I'm a secondary person at the moment. I have to adjust that. Can we just put you as a primary? Is that a problem or? You can put me as a primary, that would be easier. Okay, I'll just ask what you're gonna do that. I see Dylan, you have, it looks like you started to put the, your homepage into the homepage. Yeah, I started transitioning and kind of playing with the grid layout um, on the, in the HTML on the index file. That's why you kind of just see it. I was just kind of laying it out with a little bit of semi-transparent background so I could see where it was. Yep. All right. Uh, so yeah, I guess one thing I will look at is Bootstrap. I'll try to get that installed today and send you an email when I when I get it done. Okay. And then. Yeah, so yeah, and I guess are you gonna be able to like do your homepage just from scratch the way you had it kind of thing? Like can you just export it from Photoshop or something into a into a HTML? Well, I mean in Photoshop it's all just layers, so like I can save the layers individually and size them however I want. And so that's pretty much, yeah, as far as like if I create boxes or, you know, I template it first graphically, 
then I can use images within that, of course, like I use the background image as well, which is actually multiple layers, but. Um, Do you have yeah. uh, like Adobe Illustrator and so other Adobe stuff or just, just Photoshop mostly? No, I have the whole suite. Yeah, I've been using Adobe Creative Suite for a long time. So I'm familiar with a lot of their programs. I guess, um, do you know how to slice up an image? Slice up an Im a raw image? Yeah. yeah. In, well, I mean, in, it's just what I usually use is like the tracing tool where you just like, you know, create a long like contrast in the colors on the, the page, like a magnetic lasso or something is what it's called. But um, yeah, you just outline things and you just like cut them out as a new layer. Um, and then you get pieces of the, the entire graphic and then you can like alter the pieces differently with filters and different things. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. like from what I was, uh, what me and Elijah were looking at, it looks like with an Adobe Illustrator file, for example, you can you can just uh, like slice the, where's it? You can slice it into image maps, basically. So you can take one of Elijah's uh, uh, maps and, and then slice it, slice the, just by clicking on the, you know, the, the circles in, in the picture, because they're all different individual objects in the actual program. You can just export it all together into one like HTML. Um, file basically that has the image map and stuff. So then the, the individual things on the picture can be clicked on like right away. And huh. Have you done that before? No, I've never done that. I'm not familiar with I'll, that. I'll it's you, kind of cool. I'll, I'll it speeds it up a lot. Uh, sorry? It speeds up the image loading? Okay. Uh, not just the image loading, but it, it like by just exporting the image using these slices, you can actually just create an HTML page you know, just straight from Adobe Illustrator, for example. Yeah. So all the graphics and stuff you set up there and the, all the, like, put a bunch of buttons here. You can just click on them and put them as different slices. And then when you export it, it, it just makes an HTML page that uses those images and, and everything's already there. Huh. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm oversimplifying it, but I, I sent you a link here in the chat on Zoom. And if you have a chance maybe take a look at that. It's just like a tutorial on how to do it. And I don't, I don't have Adobe Illustrator, but Elijah does as well. And I like do. a lot of the stuff that he's made is in Adobe Illustrator. So if he sends you the AI file, you can possibly slice it up and boom, we have a website like, you know, in a few minutes maybe. Because some of these, the, like the synergy wheel and stuff there, you know, it's a bunch of circles around of circles, but in, in order for me to do anything, Normally, I would have to, you know, um, turn it into an image map somehow, but this seems to be a shortcut anyway. Okay, so you have images that have a bunch of different pieces of images on uh, on the the graphic, and you just want to separate them into slices, like different parts yeah. of the main graphic. Yeah, because then you end up with uh, clickable things on the, the one picture, you know, like, you know, you've seen some of Elijah's maps, right? He's, yeah. Yeah, so that those would okay. be suddenly all clickable and, and I could, you know, program them to do stuff and you could okay. design them to move. And I think it might yeah. be a shortcut for us. Yeah, okay. okay cool. There's also an yeah. anime, there's also, a, was it Edge Anime or Anime? Adobe Animate. Oh, okay. Um, where you can animate vector graphics, like you can do all kinds of crazy animations with vector graphics, like create movies and yeah. So you could just start with one of my maps and then from there. With HTML and CSS, yeah, it would do all kinds of crazy animations and sequences. But um hmm. yeah, I actually did a like uh kind of what slightly what I'm working on right now, like a landing page that had multiple steps or screens that you kind of move through consecutively through your like sign up process for a similar type of web app. Um, and uh, yeah, I just did all these animated kind of sequences that was kind of storyboarding, but that was the earlier version of what it is now. Yeah.
So. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's, I'm pretty sure that would do the same kind of slicing effect as Illustrator, but you'd actually be able to animate it in that program and have HTML and CSS output for the animation. I, I, I'm guessing some JavaScript too, but like, I don't know. I haven't used this new one. I'm pretty sure when it started out, it was using JavaScript. The first version of it's called Edge Animate or Edge. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, hmm, that sounds just I mean, as good. Yeah, I mean, it, it's getting pretty fancy, you know, that's... What's yeah, the we, don't need to, we actually don't... Uh, is, it, is it called Edge? The original version was called, now it's called Animate, Adobe Animate. So anyway, you can look it up. You can you can do all kinds of animations with vector art. Um, so if we were like moving wheels or circles around on the screen or relining them, um, at least in 2D, I don't know if it has like a depth and perspective features, but um, maybe like a zoom feature or something. That's like pretty cool. I'm looking up uh, stuff now. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I almost think that would be more like a a second step addition with um, animating some things. But I, I did do one, do some kind of animating or transitions with, or was thinking about that with uh, with this um, app. So I don't know. To me, having the Bootstrap kind of makes sense to have a bunch of libraries that I can make use of. There should be a lot of documentation I can look at for using it since it's, you know, fairly popular. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess what's our best next step? Like, uh, um, well, once you get that, you want to try to get the Oh, sorry, go ahead. Once you get that installed, then I can continue working on the grid layouts and figure out how I'm going to do that. So once you install it, I still have to figure out how to like, and I can look, start looking into that, how I'll set it up per PHP screen. Um, so each screen, you know, I have the template grid code already built in that I'm accessing, but then I need to apply it differently per screen, which means I do need to like be able to look up the IDs and yeah, figure out which one's which um, for whatever layout I'm doing. So but once, I, yeah, I know there's a bunch of documentation. So like I can start looking up how I'm actually gonna at least build the first couple screens using that, um, but I can't really use it until it's set up. But I think, I think that's like the best choice to me, what I've been looking at. So, okay. Uh, but once I figure out how to how to build the grid like per screen, um, then I can actually like start building out the screens. But I need I need to be able to lay it out. As you can see, like I have content in there, but I can't really put it where it needs to go. I couldn't move around the front screen box for whatever reason. Yeah, and I did notice when I had it projecting on my TV. And I guess the resolution is slightly off or something. You know, it's a, but um, it went to the reduced resolution, uh, like your mobile screen coding in the CSS. I noticed so it shifted and like moved things around when it went back to the regular laptop screen. Um, so anyway, I'll calibrate all that like per um, layout that I do, you know, when I build the layout for regular like screen, I'll kind of calibrate it for mobile. But it seems like it was fairly, it's been fairly simple and kind of streamlined to use and what I've used in WordPress. It's used in a lot of WordPress themes, Bootstrap, um, or at least CSS grids, fairly common in almost everything I use. 
the amount of depth I actually go into like, you know, structuring, you know, an actual page. I don't do that often because usually that's already templated to an extent or use some kind of tool that does it visually on the front end. But um, yeah, I'm just a, a little bit uh, outdated in, in my programming skills or expertise. It's been a while since I really had to kind of build code or think through like structuring something, um, you know, rather than having a template already set up for me that's really good. So, um, but I, I think the CSS grid will help with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, do you think, you, will you be able to take a look at the slicing thing I sent you there? Like by tomorrow maybe? And I'll, I'll try to get the bootstrap in again uh, today as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, that might honestly save us some time. Like, I don't care how fancy it is. It's just the, the time saver might might be a big okay. thing there. Okay. Because you could okay. take the map uh, or potentially you could take your what you had done for the homepage and just slice those out and it would, it'll generate an HTML file with a CSS file that, that puts everything in the right place. Really? I, I, th I think that's what it's supposed to do, yeah. Really? Okay. Well, I, I mean, I use Photoshop and just using like layers in Photoshop for that, that landing screen. You know, I don't really use Illustrator unless I'm doing stuff from scratch and mostly vector. Um, you know, if I'm going to do like a really super detailed, like user interface screen or something. Um, yeah. Well, even if you could, it's just uh, like Elijah hasn't tried it before and He's got a lot of stuff on his plate and you have Adobe Illustrator. If he sends you say just the synergy wheel, could you try the slicing on that and just see if you yeah, can slice yeah, it yeah. up in an yeah, HTML send. file? Yeah, send it. Maybe email it to him or something, Elijah? Yeah. Because <clears throat> then, because like just as a test, because uh, you create most of your stuff in Illustrator, right? All of it. Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff there to be kind of not just animated, but to to make clickable and, and navigatable as far as like, they, they are interfaces that he's making, but it, it, it's just a picture. What I've been doing in the past is just taking this picture and saying, okay, I try to recreate it using HTML and everything. But if, if there's a way that we can just slice it up, because it's all layers and stuff in Illustrator anyway, if you can just slice it, slice it up and export it as an HTML file with some image maps, then everything becomes clickable. And that's like 10 steps skipped for me at least it's for, from what my previous process was yeah and i have to build all the buttons and all the all the variants yeah well no no you don't have to make them all in a, no i don't mean now i mean in the old way we did it yeah yeah exactly yeah that's true too so i mean yeah what we could do is is a lot faster if we can do that Sure. I'll try it. Just potentially. Okay. Okay. Cool. I have not done it. I'm I'm curious too. Yeah, it looks fairly straightforward. The, it's like the tutorial there's from Adobe. It's sounds really good. <laughs> hmm. And then yeah. We'll see what I can do, I guess. But yeah, otherwise I will get the bootstrap installed tonight, like your tonight. Cool. And unless something, you know. Unless I come up to a huge barrier that should be ready for you by tomorrow, I'll send you an email when it's done. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'm going to, my whole weekend was booked up in this course. I'm finally back today, able to do things again. So I'm going to take a look at some of the mechanics that we all talked about the other day and like start to try to plan those programmatically for at least a few first few steps so that, you know, regardless of what design we go with, I can at least make the, the database ready and, and start working on some of the code to, to make that stuff function. Okay. I, I just sent you guys in your emails, just a very simple map, but it's something that hit me in terms of the overall um, screen design, which should be pretty important, but we can keep it to as simple as possible for what we need. But this is the general overall, like there is five user levels of the user, the facilitator the, at the SKC level, which would be 12 12s, the next level will be national and the next level will be global. And so each one of those would be have a different admin that the, the one above is, is sort of activating the ones below. And then for 
uh, differentiating between members, allies, and customers. Okay, that's kind of like again, time. Yeah, and just the inner members would be planetary guardians, the allies are like someone like LCL, and then the customers would be the people that we're charging the money for um, in a very specific way where they get to do what they want with it, but they're not linked into what we're doing. But the allies and the members are more linked to what we're doing, so it's a different uh, exchange structure. So I just said that to you. So just at the beginning for you guys to understand that we'll be moving towards that. Doesn't really have to, I know from your point of view, we just need to get it kind of ready for a CL, but then just to know that these are differentiations that at some point have to be put on the screen. So when we're creating the admin controls for the whole thing. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm not you know, that great at the uh, architecting it for the programmers because I, I have a little experience with that, but I just conceptually kind of get everything. And so bear yeah. with me if, if it doesn't really come across in, in, in a good way, but feedback. No, I great. get it. Okay, so is, is that it? Are we are we all set? And yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. I'll, I'll send you that email and then um, are you guys in a position to plan for next meeting right now? Like, should we plan for one soon or what do you think? Like a few days or something? See what we can do by then? Maybe towards the end of the week. You know, like Friday or something? Or? Sure. Friday? Um, Same yeah, time? Friday. Is this, or is Friday night back? Like, what's good for you, uh, Dylan? I don't have any plans Friday. Okay, so we aim, aim at Friday. I guess this is a good time for all of us, right? If, uh, um, actually, on your Friday, the time is no good for me. Um, we could do Thursday this time if that if that works, or Saturday this time, or or we could do the Friday on a different time. I just uh, have a bunch of stuff going on within this time period. On Fridays, okay. I'm cool with Thursday. Yeah, that could work. I'm, I'm, I'm good Thursday. I'm good. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so Thursday at. Uh, Six o'clock Pacific, nine o'clock Eastern, one o'clock New Zealand time. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, then yeah, we'll try to rock out some stuff before then. That'd be cool. And I guess, Dylan, if you have any design questions and things that I need to do for you, um, you know, please don't hesitate. Just tell me when they are, or whatever it is, and um, direct me how you need me. In whatever okay. manner. Yeah, well, once I once I get adjusted to the code approach and kind of layout features, then I'll get moving a little quicker. But just kind of getting adjusted to that and getting it set up. Um, yeah, so I can start looking into using Bootstrap already um, for what I need to want to use it for. And just keep going with it, but. Um, yeah, once I get once they get through the grid layout kind of setups, then I, it'll move a lot quicker. Um, actually, get to use some stuff. So, anyway, um, yeah, and, and I'll also probably start actually creating the working on the profile screen layout now in like Photoshop. Just uh, yeah, since I'll be waiting just a bit on the the server side, but we got plenty of other stuff I can research or work on. You're great guys all right. All, right. all right so until thursday have a good have a good time um, yeah yeah you too <laughs> was embarrassing to see you <laughs> all right so how you how you doing how is that is it everything going okay yeah. Um, yeah, I'll look at the bootstrap stuff tonight and get that, get that in there. And then, yeah, I just haven't been able to think about it for the last two days. So I'm going to start back on it today. Keep going. So did you, uh, did you look at what I sent you? Yep. Does like that make, now, yep. does it make sense? I guess it's. Yeah, I know what you're saying here. Yep. 
like like at the at the national level, we'd be activating people like Liz CL. And then at the global level, we're sort of probably finding other SKC leaders who would act, you know, we just it's just a growing hierarchy, right? And at some point we're at the sort of global top and everyone's getting activated below, but we set it up so we can actually control a, a very large amount of uh, in everything, you know, for at that tiered level. And then if we do it for the members, allies, and customers, we can we can create our business model pretty easily to distinguish between those and, uh, you know, have different strategies for how we're going to be going ahead. And I think that, you know, that's good because if we got a, a, a way we can activate people where they're not paying or they're trading or something or, you know, or mi minimal, whatever it is, right? And then versus, yeah. you know, the expensive one for the people who got the cash. Anyway, so I, I think that was needed to be distinguished at, at this time, eh? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna help. Nothing else came through. Did you, I sent you an, e I know I'm probably peppering you with too much stuff, but I sent you an email that had the one year map, the weekly map, the hour map and the score sheet. Um, you sent me a one year map with four spaces email that has just one picture in it though. Okay, so I didn't send the four to you? Mm, the, the subject is one year map with four spaces, but I, I only have the one like the board game looking map. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, isn't that a great map? No, it's really good. Oh yeah. I like uh, I like how you have the earth in the background right right in the middle there. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, that worked out really well. Yeah. So that's I printed it out on a. Let me. Uh, I printed it out on a phone. I'm, I'm printing the nice stuff out on the phone board, eh? Nice. <laughs> so that's the presentation for everything, but. There's there's that, and then each one of those weeks is one of these, and then each one of those hours is one of these, and this is actually the real break breakdown of the hour that we're taking them through in terms of the in terms of the the chat room, right? So yeah. if we, if from our timing perspective, if we, if we can create our own timing perspective, then the fourth one is this one. Okay, yeah. Which is the score sheet, which goes again to the four spaces. Because like when you use models to organize the info, then you just cross index the models in, in every screen and you start to see where the things connect through, right? And that four spaces of, personal space 101, group and community space, that's what is always at each level, right? And that's the big, huge shift for humanity is switching, you know, having those boundaries and then us controlling the community space, not those motherfuckers. But so these four, so in terms of the bigger picture, in terms of how do we structure the game, these four are the timing things that I think, not necessarily, of course, for this, two weeks coming in, but for the overall picture of going, how do we time these chat rooms, right? And I think if we can, if we can bring, if we can bring this in, and then uh, that's the beginning of, of kind of like the holistic system is linked to time. And the problem with all these computer programs is, you know, they're not linked together. So that's impossible really to create one whole system with it. But what we're doing is gonna do that, I think, with the essential parts. And actually, like, you know, just have the ability to take large amounts of people through similar processes, get them synced into these pulses where the whole community comes together or the whole team comes together or you get your time alone together. Right. And getting people used to this different cyclical pulse. So it's kind of like it's you get it. <laughs> Yeah, but this is for me. This is next level stuff. I gotta, I gotta get what we're trying to do now done. But you're thinking the big picture more than me at the moment. I like it, but uh, yeah, I, I got you. I, I don't currently have the headspace for it as much. Okay, um, okay. Sorry for that uh, little thing, but I just, just to kind of give you the background of some things to, um, 
but I didn't send you those four maps together. No, you just sent me the four maps. Okay, so I think I said, I'm going to send you that right now, just so you can put it in the background or something, right? Um, okay. So, anything else we need to chat about, or? Um, no, no, I think that's good for now. Yeah, but I mean, let's talk before Thursday, probably you and I. But okay, if, if not, okay too. I'll try to get some stuff done. Hey, and, and what about that World Takeover show? Do you think that's a good idea? Um, I don't know. I think I mean, as far as kids go, I think the the green background you had, like kind of the weird filter you had, and not any kind of framing background was good. And then you had just like an evil personality going on with a funny voice and i don't know but they, they thought it was hilarious they watched those those green background ones like a bunch of times in a row <laughs> yeah yeah i know i was i was just i kept going on the hello thing is good enough that <laughs> i go on my own thing but okay okay we'll take it easy uh he seems like he's i guess he's i don't know he's a hard guy to read yeah yeah I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. See what see what he can do when we get this other stuff in there for him. Yeah, no, I'm looking. I think he's going to do great. Um, but he's, I guess it's like anything, right? I mean, everyone's. I mean, he's picked up another contract, so he's got to work at the same time. So he's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So he's he's got to balance his time. I'm just hoping he keeps motivated. I think so. I think. Uh... I think he's I think he's quite interested yeah just trying to get back in the, the rhythm of, of what uh, we're asking him to do I think that's what's going right. on right it's interesting eh? it's fascinating I think it's great you know we come up with things and get somebody to do it and, <laughs> and just yeah I mean that's yeah get get some more people so. I gotta go back to school in a couple of weeks too so if we get any if we get two one or two more people doing some other stuff it might help us before that kind okay. of get them in place and I can I can manage the tech side of it well i'm 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 going to send them this and i think there's this part of the uh, primary interfaces i think that's where he is yeah okay i mean why don't you send him the synergy wheel though okay yeah i gotta well, send the synergy wheel yeah, because i want him to i want him to try to slice that up for me so that i can make it do stuff yeah okay all right. Yeah. Yeah. Keep me on track. <laughs> do you think I should right. send him that or just keep it? Keep that. Don't do that yet. No, don't send him anything he doesn't need. Would be my suggestion. Not 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 anything he need. It doesn't need right now because he. I think he doesn't. Uh, he might have a uh, an overwhelming sensor that's pretty delicate at the moment. Okay. Okay. Good, good call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <That's> good. <laughs>